So sometimes when people are at war with themselves, you should stop trying to win them over, right? What do I mean? Stop trying to reason with them from your perspective. If you're coming from a healed place or a more mature place, just stop, okay? Now, some people will get in a position where they're able to take chunks of advice at a time or um, even allow you in their space for them to share certain things. So it's, it's both sides of the coin. You know, maybe, they, maybe they're open to advice. Maybe um, they're open to some of your experience. Um, or maybe they just want you to create space for them um, to be able to talk through some things. That's the more mature type of person who has done a little bit of work and they're ready to unload or they're ready to receive. Some people are not there yet, okay? And so, if you continue to just knock on that door and trying to beat that door down, um, I know it's painful to watch certain people in your life, or at work or wherever, make the same decisions that continue to hurt them because they are at war with themselves. There's nothing you're going to be able to do about that. But take a step back and allow them to live through it and to pray that hopefully they will come into a healed enough space to be able to hear, receive, and understand what they need to do to move forward. They'll be able to receive some knowledge, some wisdom, Um, hear experiences outside of theirs, outside of their um, war so that they can move forward in their lives. So you just have to continue to love them, maybe from a distance, and accept the fact that that's where they are. As much as you want good for them, you have to accept the fact that that's where they are. Think about your own journey. There was a time when You couldn't hear anything about what you truly needed to do to heal and to move forward. You couldn't hear it because you were at war with yourself or someone else and you just couldn't hear it and receive it yet. You didn't understand it yet. So you kept going on that roller coaster of repeat until something of a greater force came along and hit you so hard that it opened up your eyes and your ears and your senses to be able to want something new. And so you wanted to hear better. You wanted to hear higher, right? You wanted to make a different choice. Again, that want has to be there for them as much as it is for you. And I know because I have adult children, okay? And as much as I want certain things for them, I can't overpower them. I can't talk to them 24-7. I can't force my will onto them. I have to do what I do, which is pray, turn turn whatever the situation is over to God, and trust that his word is going to prevail. And when the conversation opens for me to be able to share Uh, my life experience or wisdom or whatever resources then I'm very mindful I'm not going to say demure I know you thought I was (laughs) I'm very mindful uh, about how I navigate those opportunities to share so if you find yourself continuing to try to help people who are at war with themselves to the point where you're almost pushing your will onto theirs, mm, 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 mm. that's not healthy. That's not healthy. And so you need to check yourself and say, you know, am I codependent in some way? 
You know, am I trying to people please in some way? I'm so trying to get them to understand it. No, you need to step back and allow them to live. It's a part of life. It's a part of growing. It's a part of evolving. So stop tussling with people who are at war with themselves.